Superhero costumes often strike an intimidating silhouette, and a big part of that has to come down to the cape. But why exactly do superheroes wear capes? Welcome to Comic Misconceptions, I'm Scott, and this is part three in our four-part series exploring why superheroes are designed the way they are. And if you want to check out the whole series, I put links to them right up here in the corner and in the description below. In this episode, let's tackle the large flowing capes of comic book superheroes. While fewer and fewer comic book characters are wearing capes these days for various reasons that were explored quite famously by Watchmen's Dollar Bill and Edna Mode from The Incredibles, no capes. they are still associated with many popular heroes like Superman, Batman, Thor, Vision, Magneto, and more. Some comic book characters wear capes simply because they serve a practical purpose, like Batman or Moon Knight who use their capes to glide across cities, shield them from harm, disorient their enemies, etc. Artistically, they can serve the purpose of making characters look bigger and more menacing. Spawn comes to mind with his enormous flowing cape. These capes have also been brought up as an easy way for artists to show motion in a panel. They could show the physics of a scene, which direction a character is moving, and how fast thanks to most of us being more familiar with the physics of loose cloth rather than the physics of superheroes. But how did this tradition of putting capes on superheroes start in the first place? Well, this is something that's been debated a lot, with explanations from all over the place, but let me give you a few main ideas. It's no secret that Superman's creators Joe Shuster and Jerry Siegel were inspired by circus performers when they designed the Man of Steel. We've already discussed how they adopted the idea of tights and trunks from circus performers into Superman's costume design but they also had Superman wear a cape similar to the kind strongmen and acrobats and ringleaders wore. Yes, another design element straight from circus performers. They're seems to be a theme around here. However, they wouldn't normally keep their capes on when performing their feats of strength or acrobatics. It was typically something they took off beforehand, but Superman kept his on at all times. Capes also expressed in Superman a sense of majesty and a touch of mystery, which helped to showcase the idea that Supes was otherworldly. The bright red flowing cape was something that was very new to comic heroes, and it helped Superman stand out amongst characters like Flash Gordon and the Phantom. This majestic otherworldly quality can easily be seen in other comic book characters, if you want to read a little too much into things, which is what we tend to do around here. Capes can help symbolize outsider status. Heroes like Thor or Shazam wear capes to showcase that they are from different cultures. And you could argue that the capes of characters like Magneto and Vision similarly symbolize how they don't feel they truly belong amongst humans. Other characters, like Batman, were said to be inspired by swashbuckling films like The Mark of Zorro, which is even referenced in Bruce's origin. This movie starred Douglas Fairbanks as the titular character character Zorro, a masked outlaw who sported a long, black, traditional Spanish cape. A cape that he would also take off when the action was getting started. To be clear, all of this is not to say that Batman and Superman were the first heroes ever to have capes and everyone else is just copying them. There were pulp heroes before them, like the Shadow, who wore capes, but Supes and Bats were massive successes when they debuted, so it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to say that the two of them helped to standardize the choice for superheroes, at least in the golden age of comics. Not so many capes nowadays. There was that show though, but... But now I wanna know what you think. If you prefer your heroes and villains with capes, click right here. If you like your comic book characters to be sleek and capeless, click right over here. When you vote, you'll be taken back to our channel page where you can watch some more of our edutaining comic book videos that explore the history, science, and philosophy behind your favorite superheroes. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe so you don't miss the other videos in our superhero design series. So go ahead and vote already. I wanna know what you guys think, capes or no, no capes. capes. Choose now.